Hi everybody. Right from Wavescape here with your updated, upgraded forecast for the coming storm that's about to smash into us. You might also wonder why I'm wearing just a little beanie and not like foul weather gear with like helmet or whatever. I should have done that for this storm, yes, granted. Anyway, it's a cold day. Well, it's not a cold day. It's a warm day, but it's about to get a hell of a lot worse. In this case, no amount of purple pros is actually going to do justice to the veracity and velocity of the storm. It is going to be proper. There are going to be winds of 70 knots gusting in Cape Town. Inland, wind gusts to 81 knots. It's pretty severe. Okay, so let's take a look at the storm as it comes into the picture. This time I'm using the European model, wind gusts. Um, as I've said before, wind gusts may over-dramatize the situation, but when you're looking for warnings and you're looking for the retrospective looks at how much damage was caused by a storm, then the wind gusts will obviously help you. 975 millibars, already looking a little severe inland in places with strong gusts to gale force, as the sort of northwesterly precursor to the storm. And if you look up the east coast, there's a northeast wind blowing in front of the cold front and the storm as the air sucks towards that low pressure system. So I just want to show you what happens as the storm comes closer, let's just stop there. By three o'clock tomorrow morning, the main core wind field around that storm in the northwest quadrant, as it often is, is peaking at 91 knots, coming right off the end of that storm and heading towards us. Monday, blasting away. And you know, at four in the morning, there are predicted gusts of 81 knots in this area inland from Cape Town, from Betty's Bay to Ceres, and straddling the mountains above Tevatas Cliff. And, you know, Solaris Pass is somewhere over here. That's, <laughs> uh, whoa, it's going to be, it's going to be hectic. Anyway, I think, uh, I think what will be useful is to see how the swell manifests itself. This storm is, by the way, like the biggest storm since 2017, easily, and probably worse. And, and definitely in terms of the swell, the swell looks actually bigger. The Europeans are calling the swell in the storm at 6 a.m., 41 feet, 39 feet, and the swell that's making landfall around 30 feet. Wave Watch, on the other hand, is calling it 17 seconds. And I reckon that with peak wind gusts of 90 knots, I mean, you're talking a very deep mountainous period, varying degrees of wind mess. So you're, gonna, you're just going to be getting mountainous seas. I think they're calling it over 16 meters in places. You know, that's like 50 foot plus. And with a period of 18 to 21 seconds, you know, you're know you not going to really notice it because it's going to be so messy and you, it's going to be breaking so far out. Even the Wavescape surf report for the Cape Peninsula, we had like a little in-house joke when we were developing the data. When it got over 55 feet, our developer just put in for, as a joke, run for your life. Well, we've got like four run for your lives. And that is Monday 8, 11, 2 and 5 tomorrow. Yeah, this is not one to be quibbled with for sure. And then just to show you how the rain manifests, I mean, there's a huge precipitation and including massive dumps of snow right across the Western Cape. So basically, I'll just pause it at midnight tonight. Um, it seems that that's when the rain arrives. So just zooming in. So the rain is arriving tonight. Expect some humongously harsh rainfalls. I remember one squall coming through on Friday during the second storm that was absolutely like machine gun fire. Anyway, we're going to get possibly a couple of those and certainly inland over the catchment we're going to get some great rain. In fact, uh, the Europeans are a little bit more optimistic about bigger rain with a nice blob of red there. And then you also see rain just kind of like continues all the way through Monday and much of Tuesday and then it starts clearing. And then along the Southern Cape on Tuesday, also lots of rain and thunderstorms uh, are mostly out to sea. Let's hope that uh, the Kuche Dam gets some, a bit of rain. Looks like it, it might. And it does seem to peter out, though, and go past. And then just zooming out, uh, let's have a look at the way that the storm moves. Comes in on Monday, all that massive sea spreads eastwards during the day on Monday, and then a big buster starts to blow overnight Monday into Tuesday. It's pushed right up the east coast as far as um, Mozambique, in fact and then it's dissipating on Wednesday. Anyway, guys, that's it. Yeah, this is a Sunday report scrambled together. Yeah, have a good one. Stay safe out there. Thanks.